students now we are going to describe the life cycle of ascaris what is the life cycle of ascaris and what is the life cycle of other living being actually life cycle means uh, there is a cyclic process which actually initiated by the living being after their phase of reproduction when the living being any living being attain the phase of sexual or asexual maturity then they able to produce new young one that is single living being able to produce new young one and the new young one further able to get the sexual or asexual maturity and further able to produce new young one it means the cycle as like the uh, parents of single living being will also performed by the offspring that is a cyclic process it means the single life cycle that are similar to the previous one is actually called as life cycle or life span in which the phase of birth phase of young one phase of the sexual maturity and phase of senescence are actually comes one after another without delay timing let me, uh, me introduce you the life cycle of ascaris before talking the life cycle of ascaris uh, you should know about the general morphology of male and female uh, ascaris keep in minds the ascaris is actually unisexual organism that is the monoecious but actually uh, not monoecious that is dioecious but uh, in this way the ascaris male and female can easily be recognized the male and female ascaris can easily identify by their specific morphology the male is as i have told you the male is very shorter than the female female is very bigger very bigger in size than the male this is the first characteristics that you can easily recognize now the second one the mid dorsal line is common in male and female the body is circular both in male and female now back to the next important things actually the male possesses a uh, two tail like structure at the posterior part of their body that is known as pineal city that is known as pineal city this is the diagram of male and this one is the diagram of female i hope you are well familiar with the uh, symbol of male and female and pineal it is the reproductive organ of male and apart from the pineal city there is the also reproductive organ found in the female and that is actually called as genital aperture genital aperture it is the reproductive system of female now back to other important that are common that is mouth in male and female both are common excretory pores in male and female both are common and the other things that are actually the body circular and mid dorsal line uh, that is having the bilateral symmetry uh, everything is common now back to the life cycle how do the ascaris complete their life cycle actually ascaris live in the body of uh, animals animals like human being and causes ascariasis as i have told you the there are so many symptoms that is appears after ascariasis like constipation appetite loss stomach pain insomnia etc but when they are in the body of host like human being then the female release egg that is female release egg and male release sperm listen carefully and it is inside the body of uh the host so don't be confused everything that is fusion of male and female everything occurs in the host body and then both egg and sperm fuse to form zygote it will occurs in the host body that is formation of zygote later convert into the embryo and embryo later get protected by the egg and that egg is known as mammillated egg that is known as mammillated egg it is actually in higher class but uh, let i introduce you because you are uh, the aspirants not only you are the aspirants of class 11th you are also aspirants of the neat and medical examination the egg of ascaris is known as mammillated egg 
and the characteristics of mammillated egg actually it is trilayered trilayered means it is triple layered and do not affected by the uh, other outer atmosphere like sunlight osmosis and salt later the embryo later convert into uh, that is not convert it will actually remain in intestine and when the fecal material released out from the body then what happen the embryo comes out it means the egg containing embryo comes out it means till the embryo till the mammillated egg it will remain in host but along with embryo and mammillated egg uh, it will comes out through the intestine and through the fecal mater material now then it will it is turn in soil if the excretion by the host done outside then the household septic tank house household the sanitary room there is actually if the host perform the process of excretion outside anywhere from the domestic toilet then the mammillated egg is actually reach into the soil and then through the dust, dust particles or through elsewhere anywhere anything it will reach to the human colony and later the child child of uh, up to 1 to uh, 1 to 5 year 1 to 4 year means actually they are actually uh, related to the new young one then it will feed by the when the feed that soil is actually the contaminated feed a uh, contaminated soil the soil after getting mammillated egg convert into contaminated soil and then it will feed by if the mammillated egg containing soil is feed by child then what happen then it later turn into the body of the child that is the soil containing mammillated egg is reach into the child intestine and then the intestinal into the intestine the trilayered or triple layered get release the embryo and new ascaris listen that is new ascaris in host host means anyone whether the uh, new young one or the old age or any anyone that feed the soil will actually infected by the ascaris and then that ascaris later turn into the different other part of intestine and cause similar function as like the uh, previous host that is the constipation appetitis loss stomach pain isomnia so many problems appeared into the child and then that child is actually uh, infected also with the ascariasis and the if the child release the uh, fecal material outside then the same way the mammillated, uh, mammillated egg along with the embryo released out by the child and it will complete their other life cycle it means for some time it remain in soil actually the some for some time the ascaris remain in soil but unfortunately it will feed it by the new young one or the child then it reach into the body of the child and causes the stomach pain and other problems that is actually the sign of beginning of ascariasis and it is actually the curable it means it is uh, not a long time remain in body if there are uh, anti anti nematodal or anti ascariasis uh, medicine is taken out like anti fen yomason is actually taken out by the uh, child through the prescription of doctors then it may be curable and ascaris may be curable so don't be panic regarding the ascariasis that is ascaris is not a major problem for the human being now the life cycle of ascaris is over and each kinds of uh, nematodes perform the similar kinds of process of reproduction but uh, some of them is free living some of them is uh, survive in the human host or any other host so in next video lecture i will describe you the phylum annelida thank you